What's the difference between path tracing and ray tracing? I'm not an expert, so let's keep it simple. Both are a way to make light in games look realistic. In real life, light bounces everywhere from everything, and that is how you see things. Ray tracing tries to recreate that effect, but for cheap. So it bounces one ray here, tries to do one reflection there, maybe some shadows, and there you go. You have somewhat of a realistic lighting in some parts of the scene. This is why most of the time you can tell that ray tracing is on by looking at the shadows or reflections in shiny objects or water poodles. So what we gamers call ray tracing does just barely enough to have somewhat of a decently realistic-ish result. To try to save on performance, irony, right? Now path tracing is like, fuck you, I'm doing everything, we're bouncing every light ray from everywhere, fuck your computer, you should have stayed in school. And the result of that is as close of realistic lighting as you can possibly have the depending on how the game does it. And a side of fried GPU. It doesn't actually bounce every light ray from every, th that would be impossible, but it does a lot more rays, a lot more bounces from a lot more surfaces than normal ray tracing. And this is why path tracing is insanely demanding to run. Up until recently, it wasn't even supposed to be used in games. But thanks to DLSS upscaling and I guess fucking frame gen, we now have the ability to turn it on if we fucking choose to do so. It's a choice. A big part of what makes games look realistic is lighting. Sure, the graphics and 3D textures and all that stuff matter, Matters, but that stuff hasn't really evolved in the last few years. Game studios just got worse. But how did we have lighting and shadows in games before this bullshit? Well, you can have realistic or not so realistic lighting and shadows in games without any ray tracing. Best and latest example, I think, is Death Stranding 2 on the Decima engine. It doesn't use any ray tracing. It does everything the good old-fashioned way. And look at it, it just speaks for itself. In games, if you have ray tracing off, people refer to it as rasterization and there's plenty of ways to have good lighting, good shadows without ray tracing. With plenty of tricks and techniques developers have used for decades to essentially fake lighting. And by the way, the path tracing we are getting in games is not even 100% juiced up anyway. Not like what you would find in animated movies. But I can't tell you more because I'm not a game developer, so I don't know. Are game developers lazy for adopting ray tracing and path tracing instead of trying to recreate the voodoo magic of this trending too? Maybe, some probably are. Are Nvidia and AMD the at fault for giving us path tracing and ray tracing. No, technology has to advance. When we went from PS1 to PS2 and we had so much better graphics, nobody was like, I mean, this shit sucks, give me my boxy characters back. This is what we're getting served. It looks nice, but costs some or a lot of performance if you choose to use it. Yeah.